Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Stellaris. So we are expanding our territory once again. We are in the process of taking a couple of new colony worlds. Oh, there, there we go. Okay, one of our colony ships has just been built. And it already had its orders. And it's already on way to... Where are you going? Oh, you left from Bertios and you're going to Rana. Perfect. Perfect. Just take, take that world for the glory of humanity. Um, although you're not human, so... For the glory of someone. Our other colony ship just finished. I actually want to colonise directly Jomperun. Uh, so let's just colonise with that one. Uh, we will put you on... Oh, that's a perfect tile for you. Go there. How are we doing on our Dreadnought? Our Dreadnought is 56% repaired. And we become the president next year. We've got a powerful fleet. We've got a restored alien Dreadnought. And we'll have control of the Federation fleet. I think if there was ever a time for us to go to war with the Upper Kingdom, it's going to be now. With our allies, we should be able, I hope, to push through, claim some territory. What I want to do is, I would love to clear out that pocket there. I'm actually thinking of taking this territory first. Clear out that last pocket of what used to be uh, the Mauritian Empire. And connect our borders up here, so the Flex Clang and us have a joint border. Once we've done that, we can actually try and again declare war against these guys in 2372. Uh, who are their current allies? The Wasari. So it'd just be us and the Wasari. And we'd have we'd actually have access to them this time through the Fex Klanger sovereignty. And with any luck, the the Fex Klanger will be on our side. Oh, they've taken more territory down here. What the hell? When did you guys take territory down here? How did you even get to this territory? Yeah, they've colonised the system down there. I hadn't realised. Well, we'll take that as well. So that's my plan. But we want to do that with this Dreadnought. I want this Dreadnought. I want to know how powerful it is. Let's look. One of my, one of my battleships is currently... What's the military power of one of my battleships? This screen doesn't actually tell you like the military power, does it? Oh, there we go. 1044. Which is pretty good. But I want to see what the military power of this restored Dreadnought is going to be. Uh, do we have... Yeah, Dreadnought is underway. Do we have any good technology coming? Not yet. We do have more torpedoes, so we can upgrade our torpedoes. Two more habitability is about to finish, which is rather nice. Oh, our leader died. Uh, our general. Well, that's unfortunate, but we, we don't actually need a general right now. So, I probably could have just retired that person. Okay, we have two more habitability, plus 40%. Which is rather good. So let's take a quick look. One of our tomb worlds. Now 60% habitable. That's not bad. So if I mean I was to try and colonise that with, you know, humans. 60% straight up. Um, what are the modifiers for, for tomb worlds? Why would I particularly want a tomb world? Oh, city ruins give us additional society research. Wow, that would stack really well with that bomb crater. Because that's already got society research. No energy on this planet, though. Only minerals. Interesting. I wonder if that's a thing. Is that a thing? Do I have another... I had another tomb world somewhere. I had two tomb worlds. Where are my tomb worlds? Physics research boost. And society research boost. But no energy and no minerals. Interesting. Okay, maybe I'm not too interested in those planets. I had assumed that might reveal more information for us. Okay, you've got those things there for me. Our border's expanded, so we do have some more stuff to claim. Come down here and build me all those mining stations. That's a lot of mining stations. That's a lot of minerals. Um, and build me a research station there. And then come down here and build the mining stations there. You're just going to have to tour the entire galaxy to build all this stuff for me. Sorry, not sorry. There we go. Just just get on with that. Just go uh, do an entire lap of the known Colony universe. Established. Research complete. Okay, we are... Wow, we've already maxed out energy credits again. Jesus. Um, I need some society research. So... Uh, border range plus another 10%. Interesting. Morphogenic field mastery. What the hell? From its cradle is purely pharmaceutical venture. Advancements in our understanding of the morphogenic field allow for direct subconscious interfaces with organic units, which allows us a xenomorph army and the attachment of xeno cavalry. Uh. 
I've never seen that before. I'm actually going to go for that. That sounds pretty interesting. It's not too expensive either. Sure. Uh, what did we just finish? We now have Quantum Destabilizers, a new aura field for our fortresses and defense platforms and stuff, which is rather good. Um, shield capacitors, capacitor fields, which grant, what is that? Monthly shield regeneration for ships, plus 20%. That's useful, but not great. Survey speed and automatic exploration, we just don't need it. How long will that take? 21 months. Let's go for shield capacitor, actually. That might be useful. Come on, all I want is this Dreadnought. It's all I want in life. It's all I want for Christmas is a Dreadnought. Mummy, Daddy, can I, ha can I have a Dreadnought, please? Is that system in my borders? No. I we're so close to these guys. They must be getting pretty pissed off of us, actually. Uh, how do they feel about us? Negative 62. Border friction is only 12. Biggest thing is they're just xenophobes. That's okay. I'm, I'm never going to colonize that world, because that's just a bad idea. If the Bofrians colonize it, we're doomed. They'll just come through, curb stop us, the Bofrians, the Marish League, and the Vexlanger. Oh no, we lost a scientist. Damn it, Pablo. You're one of my level 5 scientists as well. Uh, let's see, do I have a level 5 guy? No, but you're pretty close. Although, actually, Dirk would be better on that project. Although, currently, you're working on repairing the Dreadnought, which is about to finish. We'll change it over once the Dreadnought finishes. And... Oh! Oh, I'm the president, aren't I? Did I get a pop-up saying I was the president? I don't remember, but yes, we now have access to the second Void Skulkers. So, what have we actually got? Eight battleships. What are the battleships equipped with? What are they designed with? Okay, they've got top-level tech. Pretty nice. Holy shit, Mega Cannons. I don't actually have this, but they're pretty goddamn good. Range of 120. Average damage 22.47. Ignores 50% of armor and does 33% extra shield damage. They've got large Marauder Missiles and large Phase Disruptors. Yeah, these are basically built with mostly my technology. I have much better technology than the rest of the Federation, so these ships are pretty close to what I'd want. I designed them a bit differently. I mean, I could update their designs. But that's not bad. What about the cruisers? What are the cruisers equipped with? Just missiles and disruptors. That's not bad. You know. Decent amount of armor. Yeah, I could work with this. That does give us access to a lot of firepower here. Right, let's get this Dreadnought online. Please. Special project. Dreadnought repaired. This is a momentous day. Our skilled repair crews and engineers have finished their work on the ancient Dreadnought we disabled in the Jompron system. The massive warship has received its full crew complement and been declared ready for surface after con conducting space trials. A powerful addition to our fleet. Damn right. Dreadnought. 4,366 military power for one ship. Wow, that's four and a half times better than one of my battleships. What are you actually equipped with? Jesus. Okay, lots of small phase disruptors, guardian point defense, and level three large plasma cannons. You got level four impulse thrusters, a sentient combat computer. Nice. Hyperdrive Mark III, tachyon sensors. Wow, yeah. You're, um... You're pretty fucking stacked, I'll admit. Okay, yeah. 15,000 hull points, 13,524 shields. I can work with that. I would have liked it if I had some longer range weapons. I mean, that's range of 40, range of 80. But, um... Okay, yeah. Go go join the first fleet, please. I, I want you grouped up with my main fleet. And I think we're basically going to war. Head there. Do the thing. Uh, you don't have any orders, because I've given all the orders to the other guy. So, just go somewhere safe for the time being. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty big ship. Um, and it does cost us a little bit of naval capacity, but I'm okay with that. We're, st we're still maxed out on Colony all our stuff. Cool. Colonies of. Come online. Jump run. Okay, yeah. Now we're going to start having some trouble because we're way over our limits. Um, what do I want to do with this colony? Let's get, let's get it started. Clear off these tiles. Pay to clear off these tiles for them. And then I think we're just going to add it into the sector. Um, we'll probably wait for Jumper and Prime to come on board. Come online as well. 
And yeah, let's build our spaceport as well, above the world. So we're going to handle the colonization cost for a little bit. Just to kind of get this stuff going. Uh, second voice coppers, where are you guys? You're down there. I mean, that's another 10.5k. I feel like I want all my ships together. But, I don't know, we'll have to see. For this war, I've only got 10 years to do this war, so we do need to move a little quickly. Yeah, yeah, resources are all full. In fact, actually, if our resources are full, let's talk to some of these enclaves and spend some stuff. Can you aid us in our research? Uh, we would like to purchase this surface. 5,000 energy credits, that's fine. Tons of physics output. F uh, just 15% boost to all of our research. Yes, please. No point sitting there on the full cap um, when we can get other stuff. In fact, I could sell some of our minerals. And I could sell minerals to one of our allies in exchange for energy credits. Have you got any energy you can afford to spend? How much energy have you guys got? I'll know when it goes to like a minus a thousand that I've actually hit their cap. There we go. Now, do I don't want to take all their energy? I mean, if I took like 4,000 energy off their hands. How many minerals would you want for that? Sure. <coughs> and now I've almost got... Oh yeah, I've got 9,000 energy again. Uh, let's see, what can we do with that energy? Can we learn anything? Uh, I don't care about star charts. They're already aiding us in research. We could spend 300 energy credits to learn something we don't know. Let's give that a try. Situation log updated. We've marked a SAR system in your situation log. Okay. Point of interest, track on map. Up there in the mandate of Yim. I don't actually think I can get ships there, can I? Yeah, they don't like us. Damn. There's something there that might interest us. I don't know what that could be. Probably not like a Leviathan or something. It's probably... I would imagine it's probably something along the lines of a uh, anomaly we can investigate. Although they're not bad for 300 energy. Might be useful if you wanted to start trying to level up some of your science ships quickly. Uh, you are not assisting research because you have no captain. I forgot to recruit a new guy. Uh, let's see, who... I don't really care about their expertises. Who's the youngest? You are, 36 years old. That is young. Start leveling up, have a long and prosperous life, please. Colony established. Cool. Jumper and Prime has come on board. Build you a spaceport. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure you've got plenty of food so you grow fast. And yeah, let's just clear off a bunch of these food tiles. Okay. Now that we've paid for all that and the spaceports have started construction we can just add that to the sector. Uh, so that is the Bertios Prime sector. Let's just add that in. Um, might as well give them these systems as well. Just make sure they've got decent income. Well, I'm pretty certain they do, but screw it. Have, have all the things. Okay, not bad. So that cuts down. Yeah, we're earning, we're earning so much energy right now. And our research is through the roof. Trade deal expired with the Selimian Interplanetary League. Okay, these are all my trade deals for research, which we don't really need right now because we're so far ahead of everyone. Kind of okay with that. Okay, we need to declare this war, I think. As the president, do I actually need to offer anything to the other guys? If I was to declare war on the Upper Kingdom, which would get it... Yeah, they're just, they would agree straight up. I don't even need to offer them anything. You know what? I think we're just going to go and do it. I think we're just going to go in. I want to take these two systems. I want to clear out this section, grab the border. Just, yeah. And then we'll have one contiguous border with the Mandate of Yim, who we're going to be fighting anyway. I mean, the Upper Kingdom is a threat, but we've got, we'll have got we be fighting on three sides over here. Though I wouldn't mind claiming some of the territory from them. Maybe if we do try and claim Zipper and give that to... The Vex Clanger. 
Maybe let's see what the war score for that would cost. No, we've already done that. We know we can probably afford two. St we can probably afford to take three systems before hitting them. The war score cap of a hundred. So we'll have to try and break them apart slowly and easily. What I'm tempted to do is use our main fleet over here to kind of invade these systems quickly, and then try and hold the upper kingdom off with the second void skull, which is the Federation fleet. How long have we got until next rotation in 2379? So we do have a couple of years to do this. I assume if we're in a war and the presidency changes, the war continues. It would be weird if it did otherwise. Let's be honest. So what do we what do we need to wait for? I'm just waiting for these actually to arrive in Bertios. Is my dreadnought here? Oh shit, the dreadnought has arrived. Oh my god, it's so much bigger than my battleships. Jesus. Now I could join that to the Federation fleet, but I just kind of want it in the first fleet. I mean, it's my flagship. Just, just, yeah. Just join me. God, you're so big. You're so big, you're actually clipping through the other ships in the fleet because it just doesn't know how to handle you. That's, that's pretty amazing, I'll be honest. Okay, so the Void Skulkers were actually going to send over to what I'm going to call the Upper Kingdom front. And I do have these stations over here. Let's actually move you to Wumjian. Put you in orbit with the spaceport there. Uh, you're actually a very small spaceport. Uh, I don't know why I haven't upgraded you. Let's just get that fully upgraded, or at least starting to fully upgrade. You are more upgraded. Don't no no no. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, upgrade to level 6, and then might as well put an observatory on you, quite honestly. Uh, this one, you don't even have any module slots. Uh, solar panels, for a start. Uh, we should be okay everywhere else. I mean, if they attack through here, we've got a couple of military stations. Walton Prime's pretty well defended. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, the Upper Kingdom, if we take a look, empires that hate us... Upper Kingdom. They are oh oh shit, they're actually equivalent to us. Their fleet power is inferior though. Okay. But their naval capacity is equivalent? How is that possible? Yeah, man of Yim is actually fleet power is pathetic. So we should be able to handle this, I think. We might have to help out our allies. So yes, second Void Skulkers head over there. We're going to build up that space station. And I think probably kick off this war next episode. I don't want to kick it off right now because it's coming to the end. The only thing we really need to do is actually I realise I haven't actually put those observatories on my spaceports. Now the one over Earth, we build a lot of ships here. So Corvette, Assembly Yards, all that kind of stuff. We probably want to keep that around for now. But you guys should have plenty of room for observatories on all the other worlds. Because I've left a lot of these build slots open. Didn't need to pay for the module cost when it wasn't going to really benefit us too much. If we're not using them to actually build ships that frequently. So all of our core systems... I'm going to get a big boost there. Uh, let's have a check down here. What about you? Yeah, you can afford an observatory for me. It's going to cost us a bit of energy, but quite honestly, I don't mind that. The uh, boost to our research is going to be pretty goddamn handy. Uh, you guys could actually use a... Oh yeah, you're actually... Let's just pay for you guys to get fully upgraded. Uh, I will take the observatory first and then get you all fully upgraded. It does increase their hit points. It does increase their damage they do, but it does increase their whole, whole hit points. Which is pretty useful. Uh, do we actually have a station down here? We do. Wow, I didn't even put a solar panel network on you. I guess I just kind of forgot about you, didn't I? Sorry, guy. Sorry, spaceport. I'm apologising to a blimmin' spaceport now. Sorry, Mr. Spaceport. Uh, most of you guys are going to have spaceports as well. So first off, observatory. And then just get maxed out. Never built one there. That was a mistake. I need to pay more attention to this kind of stuff sometimes. Okay, 
Okay, we are burning. We've spent about half our minerals. I was going to say we burned through a lot of minerals. We spent half our minerals. It's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, you won't get an observatory. So, okay, that's good. Lots of observatories coming online. I mean, the actual income benefit is going to be pretty minor in most places because it's a percentage of what the planet is producing. But even if it's producing a little bit, it's all going to add up over time. And how are these ones doing? They're not quite complete. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on those. Um, we'll probably try and do that next episode and get those built up and properly defended. And yeah, we're going to declare this war because we're the Federation president and because fuck yeah, we can. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'm going to see you later for the next one. Bye.